Okay, so in this equation, we have sulfuric acid plus aluminum carbonate. It's a little bit of a challenging equation. We'll use a trick to help us some. Let's count the atoms up first. We have two hydrogens, and here's the trick. I have SO4, it's called the sulfate group. It's polyatomic ion. I have SO4 here, and then I have it here. So I have one of them here, and then I have three of them over here. So I'm just counting the sulfate. Is one, I'm treating as one item, keeping it together. And that helps a lot. We have to worry about all these oxygens. I have two aluminums. The carbonate, I can't really do that with because the carbonate splits up into these compounds here. So I'm going to separate those out. The carbon, I have one times three, three carbons. Oxygens, three times three, nine of those. Product side, we have two hydrogens. We have the three sulfates, two aluminums, one carbon, two oxygens. Plus, don't forget this oxygen here with water. That gives us three. I like to leave the oxygens till last. Let's fix the carbons. If I put a coefficient of three in front of the CO2, one times three, that'll give me three carbons. Those are balanced. Let's update the oxygens. So I have two times three, that's six, plus the one in the water, that gives me seven. Next, let's fix the sulfates. I like to leave oxygen till last. So I have three sulfates here and one here. I'll put a three is my coefficient in front of the H2SO4, the sulfuric acid. One sulfate times three gives me three of those. So these are balanced. Hydrogens, two times three, that gives me six. So the hydrogens and the oxygens aren't balanced. Often when you balance the hydrogens, that balances the oxygens when this water molecule is involved. Let's see if it works. I need six of them on this side, so three times two. That'll give me six, those are balanced, and we need to update the oxygens again. Two times three is six, plus one times three, that gives us nine, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So it helps to think of a sulfate group or a polyatomic ion like this. If you have it on both sides, just count it as one item. That makes the balancing quite a bit easier. The other thing, if you leave the oxygens to last, that's often a good strategy. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H2SO4 plus Al2CO3-3. Thanks for watching.